It's been almost a month since I upgraded the battery on my iPhone with the Tesla 2170 sales. I started on March 23rd and now it's April 19th so it's been 27 days to be exact. And right now the battery is at 3.64 volts which is about 40% state of charge. Isn't that crazy? I mean this phone has not been charged for 27 days and it still has 40% battery life left. I need to make a charge of this battery because right now if I use this to plug in the bottom of the phone I only get about 1 amp max. This battery is 25 amp hour and that would take at least 25 hours or more to charge this battery. That's a very long time. I also made a 2 amp charging board from a hacked TP456 which can do 2 amps. This IP5306 board can also do 2 amps. But even at 2 amps charging rate, to charge a 25 amp hour, it would take over 12 hours to fully charge this battery. That's still a very long time. A regular TP456 board like this can only do 1 amp max, whereas the IP5306 boards like these can only do 2 amps max. The question is, is it possible to connect all of these or these together to increase their charging rate? in order to charge my battery faster. That's what we're going to find out in this video. Now let's try it on the TP4056 board. I stick all this board together using double-sided tape. And we've got the on the positive terminal on the input side. I'm going to connect all the uh, three terminals together. And the same thing on the uh, negative side. I'm going to do the same thing on the battery side. And then to connect them together, I'm just going to use a solid copper wire and thread through the holes and then um, solder them all together. Alright, here we go. I've got it all soldered together. I've got XT60 connectors on both sides. This is the input side from the power supply. That's the output to the battery. Here we go. Moment of truth. I've got the output connected to my iPhone battery here. I've got the input connected to my 5 volt power supply and I've got my amp meter ready. Each of this board can produce 1 amp max so 3 of these in parallel supposed to be 3 amps total. Now let's turn it on. Wow! Exactly 3 amps! That's amazing! Works just fine. Now you can see all 3 lights are red so that means all of them are charging in parallel. Let me zoom in so you can see the uh, charging boards. The LED light up. Next up we've got the IP5306 charging and discharging boards. One of these can charge lithium ion battery at 2 amps. I got four of these. I'm going to put them in parallel. The total current output would be 8 amps. But this time I have to be careful because the current is higher. The wire I've been using is this wire here. It's a size 22 solid copper wire. This is from a glass door opener. This wire goes from the wall to the photo eyes safety sensor. It is size 22 and it only supports up to 5 amps max and that means I have to use a bigger wire problem is there are holes on this board that's where you're supposed to thread the wires through and this wire is the biggest size that you can thread through this hole but I think I'm still gonna use this wire but I'm gonna double it up to increase the current all right, so here we go. It is finally done. So on this board, we got five volt input, ground, another ground, and that is 4.2 volt output to battery. All of the terminals are connected in parallel. So all of the V in are connected together, all of the grounds are connected together, and then finally the battery output, they are all connected together. I actually have everything connected together in parallel except the last board 
which has the positive output to battery disconnected from the rest of the board. And this is the output wire from the last board that goes out to the battery and it's separate from the first three boards and that means I can have a 2 amp output just from the last board or I can have 6 amp output go now to this connector here from the first three boards or I can have a combined of all of the board together for 8 amp output if I connect this together like that. Now everything is connected in parallel together and the main output here should be 8 amps. And this gives me a lot of flexibility because your charging rate depends a lot on the size of the battery. For the connections between the boards I use the same wire as before solid copper wire size 22. This wire can only do 5 amps this contraption here requires 8 amps. So what I did is I added a lot of solder to the wire. You can see there it's a lot fatter. About 2 or 3 times fatter than the original wire. And therefore it can carry a lot more current than original wires. So this for sure can carry a lot more than 8 amps. Let's put it to the test. I've got it connected to my battery and this is connected so the total combined power should be 8 amps let's turn it on there we go 7.3 7.4 amps so it's working great so the lights are blinking down here let me turn over so you can see the lights blinking all blinking so that means they are all charging at the same time in parallel now if I disconnect this, it's going to disconnect the last board and we should have around what, 6 amps or so. There we go. 5.7 amps when this is disconnected. Now if I have a smaller battery pack and I want to charge at 2 amps, let me disconnect this. I'm just going to use this alone. So let's plug this in. See what happens. There we go. Two amps. That is perfect. So there you have it. You can parallel all of this board together to increase the charging current. You just have to be careful and use the appropriate wire size for the amount of current output you're using. And if your wire is too small for the amount of current output you're using, this is gonna happen. And it's extremely dangerous and that's a fire hazard. So this is gonna be the new charger for my phone. It's very small and portable and it can fit in my pocket and I can just bring it anywhere. And it could give a lot more current output for its size compared to this one and finally it's a lot cheaper and that's all I have for now folks thanks for watching and I will see you next time